What'd you say this episode is, Corey? Vinny's splitting them on soon. Yeah, man, it's downpouring. <laughs> look at the look at the rain coming off that roof. Big Daddy. How many? Okay, 24 tons. 24,000? Yep. Oh. Take that right around the corner. Okay, that's good right there. You got that on? Yep, because she's kind of. Yep. I don't have much leverage once it gets to a point. So we're going to be installing a uh, mini split ductless system Fujitsu. We're going to put a head here and a head here. The biggest thing with something like this, you want to basically um, navigate where you want the, the head units to go. And I'm thinking in between these two windows is a good spot because basically we got to heat, heat and cool this area. So we're 1200 square feet very well insulated uh the ceilings are going to be really well insulated uh so basically out here we got a storm of brewing too so that should be fun times uh we're going to mount the unit uh, on the on the wall here uh, i got some uh five eighths by six uh decking i'm going to probably double them up run them down and put my bracket on and then we're gonna come down boom into there and then straight down there uh, electricians got to wire everything up and we're gonna be putting in an ICM uh, surge protector and I'll yep. show you expecting some showers maybe a thunder boomer so I gotta pull this thing out hopefully it doesn't act like a parachute Oops, have to get, there we go just like that there's no all right got our brackets up got our holes drilled we're getting ready to run our cable through here i'm going to wire these up for the communication wire and then i'm going to have corey pull that wire through and i'll stick all the the line set out and then everything will be mounted and then I'll tie that one on there and then we'll mount everything outside. Ingenuity. So what we got to do is we got to take this back off because they don't give you fender washers and you can see it's really I don't know I don't like that so I'm going to put this in there and a little more solid now I'm not gonna worry about that center one but yeah. 
Yeah, so this machine, what it does, it pushes it out of the way. Gotcha. Once you're on yeah. there. Yeah, I wish I would have got that years ago. Pretty nice. And then you just do that, so it's not quite one-handed, but close. Almost. Yeah, just like that, dude. I mean, just you like can't that. really complain about that too much. Perfect flare. Another Billy, Billy Corgan. Slap some nylon on here. This is the style that I've been used to, and this one, it's just such a pain in the ass to try to get anything in here. So I had to build a little little tree, if you call it, but I'm 464 pounds, 464.5. I'm going to let it sit for like 10 minutes. I mean, I've been told you're supposed to run these up to like 600 PSI for 15 minutes. I, I just... That's just fine. I, I find that hard to believe. I mean, right here, design pressure, 450 psi, 450 to 240, and he went. They said to run it up to 600. I leave it in the comment section below, but I, I, I just can't see that. So, coreless is. This is what we're. Where's that box at? So we're putting in this. Uh, ICM 493 single phase line monitor with built in surge suppression. So basically, this will monitor the voltage and everything. It's got, it's actually got uh, these little, these are little, uh, oh, surge protectors. So you got five surge protectors before you got to replace anything. Um, the electrician is not here. That he hasn't wired this up yet. So we're going to mount this, wire this into where we need to wire it in here. Then the electrician will wire this to his disconnect, and then I'll have to come back and fire everything up. Right, Finn? I guess so. <laughs> fire it up, buddy. <laughs> All right, there it is. Got everything all buttoned up. Turned out nice. I like Corey's idea better. I was gonna come down than across, but Corey made the executive decision to run it up there and it looks nice because it all comes down here. And uh, got my race, race sticker there, nice. So yeah, we're all set. We're electrician. Corey wired the ICM control up, and we're just waiting on the electrician to run his feed from the panel inside, probably down and up, and hit that. And this is all ready to go. Um, and like I said, we had to put these boards down here in the back because there's two one or two by four purlins going across, and it just wouldn't have been stout. I mean, it's it is what it is next day electrician got his disconnect wired in let's take you inside so 
So this one remote can operate both units. They come with each, they come with individual remote controls, but you can still use one remote with each one. So I got these in heat pump mode. It's about 70 degrees outside. And we're kicking out some pretty good heat. 12,000 BTU head units, uh, so 24,000 BTUs to heat this 1,200 square foot garage barn. Um, very nice. It should uh, it should heat and cool just fine. This will actually heat down to minus 15 degrees. So this will be the solution if you need uh, a heating and cooling source and you don't have propane, don't want to get propane, electrify it. Use some um, Fujitsu mini split ductless systems. Uh, no duct work. And these things will blow, oh, good, 25, 28 feet across. Um, so this will work just fine. If you, if you uh, see anything that we should have done different, leave it in the comment section below. I uh, greatly appreciate all everybody's support, and we'll see you in the next one. If you've got any value out of this content, smash that thumbs up button. See you in the next one.